Hello everybody, today I am going to build an RGB LED circuit. Yes, I'm going to be building it with my Arduino, because my Arduino does most of the work. It actually changes the colour of the LED. Oh yeah, and by the way, just so you know, this is the layout of my RGB LED. This is red, this is ground or negative, this is green and that's blue. And just so you know, yes, I'm getting this information from one of my YouTube videos. So let's get started. This is going to be irritating and there should be more light in here. Let me first fix the lighting. There we go. I adjusted the light and now I zoomed in. Now I realize that I don't have to cover that blue light. So yeah, anyway, an RGB LED is the same as a normal LED. But it's three LEDs fused together, a red one and a green one and a blue one fused together. So instead of using three separate LEDs, you can just use one and all of those LEDs are merged into this one LED. So anyway, I've already started the circuitry, I suppose. I have my Arduino here, I have my breadboard and I also have some information and a tip for you. So... The ground pin is the longest one that's there, the ground pin. And I also suggest to bend that pin a little bit forward, just one hole forward, so that you can distinguish between the four pins when it's in the breadboard. And do you know what LEDs and high voltage and ampage have in common? Poppage. Yes, I invented that word, I suppose. But you will pop your LEDs because there's too much voltage going through it. So I have three LEDs, no, three resistors for my LEDs. I would suggest using three 30 ohm resistors for this. So I'm just going to, sorry if my head is in the way, but I'll do a macro shot of my breadboard when I'm done wiring it. There we go. Now let's do the rest. Okay, now I just realized another problem. So, it's not the the hardware. I, well, it is the hardware actually, but anyway, the ground pin, when I plug it into the breadboard, it goes in front of the green pin. So then I can't access the green pin anymore because the ground pin is covering the green pin. So now what I have to do is adjust it. Yay! There we go. Literally all I've done is that I I didn't put the ground pin a little bit further forward. So I suppose that's not really a good tip. So don't follow that tip. So now that I bent back the ground pin, I can put the LED back in. Come on, you can do it. Did it? Yes, oh, my phone isn't exposed correctly. There we go. <clears throat> I did it. But here is another tip that never fails. You might be wondering why I have red, green, and blue wires here. What is this called? What is this LED called? An RGB LED. R G B. That's what it stands for red, blue, and green. So, yeah. So, the red pin is going to have the red wire so that you can know which color you're going to power with this wire. Now let's continue with the rest. There we go. I have now wired my circuit. Let me do a macro shot. And while I was here, I took a macro shot of the RGB LED itself. You can see the three separate LEDs in there. Now the only thing that's left to do is to wire up the ground. I'm going to use a black wire for this one instead of a blue one because I'm already using a blue one. So, obviously, 
you plug this in to the empty space of the pins on the LED. There we go, I've plugged it in. And just so you know, you don't have to put a resistor on the ground because it's not getting power. That's literally just the ground. That's where the power can go to. That's what completes the circuit, basically. That's also why if you touch a wire, hopefully not the house wiring because, well, one less view on this video. But anyway, so if you touch a powered wire, like any powered wire, then that's why it jumps to your finger because your finger is a part of your grounded body. The other way of saying ground is negative. Then the wire is positive. So then the path that the power takes is to go to ground because it has nowhere else to go. So it just wants to go to ground. But anyway, now that I'm done wiring, I'm going to take this cable. This is my Arduino cable. And I'm going to plug it into my PC. Yes. I usually like to plug in my cable into the USB 3.0, but your computer might not have that, so then you don't have to do that. You see, have it plugged into USB 3.0 so that you can do this project with me. I am going to link the code in the description below. Now I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to actually get to your Arduino. So on your PC, you should have downloaded the Arduino IDE. If you haven't already, then I would also link that down into the description below. But anyway, you double click it and you wait for it to load. There you go. Oh, here is my program already. But anyway, there's already a program that's opened in here in this new sketch. Then make sure that this one is closed. Oh no, not closed, saved. Then you close that one. Then you can write your program here. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to open the old program that I already programmed a long time ago about my RGB LED. So anyway, after you've pasted your program here, it should show up here, obviously. This is the program that I have open here. Now, let's do the test. Let's see, did I wire it correctly? Oh yeah, and also speaking about wiring, I suggest putting the wires into the variable pins. Oh yeah, I also forgot to tell you how to figure out which pin is variable. So next to the pin hole itself, there should be a number and next to that number there should be a squiggly line if that squiggly line is there then that means it's variable because you see here it's variable it's not just on and off you see here yeah, it's half on i suppose because it's 100 but anyway let's upload and see if there's problems i'm scared seems like there's no problems Ooh, ooh. Ooh, look at that. I'm changing the exposure so that there's a better result. You can see all of the colors. Look at that. Oh yeah, and by the way, the last one is white. Because you can't really see that well on camera. But yes, I'm so excited. You should also be excited. I just love seeing different colored lights for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and bye-bye. And bye-bye with my RGB LED, if you can see it, I don't know. And see you next time.